Gentlemen, oh, I would ask you in for tea, but I'm afraid I'm running rather late. Enough of the nice teas. We've come to smash your place up, ain't we, Bess? You got one of them telling what's it's in here, ain't ya? And you've been reading messages from the Steric Company. That is as untrue as the notion that the Steric Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information, sir. Come again? Your employer's promises are nothing but hot air. His operations are about to turn pear shaped. Smart. What's you going on about air and pears for? agility of a dollar of donkey's apples. Apples? I think he's trying to be funny. Oh, he dropped another one, Bill. You little sod. Oh, I ain't me, Bez. Oh, go oh, blind me, it's got me throat. Oh. Oh, those rascals throwing stink bombs again. It happens all the time around here. Right. Tell us where you keep that telly what's it. Or count to three. Three? Well, well. Let's see how far you get. One. Do you really think I would keep it here? Do you see a cable? A telegraph without a cable is about as useful as a bell without a clapper. I'll give you a bleeding clapper. Well, bless my boots, you're as purple as a plum. Courage and resolve, I never knew I had. I'm glad I could help. Now it's time to shut down Stark's empire of propaganda. Come on, we haven't got all day. The longer we can keep Staric from spewing out false information, the more we can awaken the people with the truth about his operations. I agree. The sooner we can get there, the quicker we can act. Would you believe my mother says there are still some waves in her street that swear by that shooting star? So I took it upon myself to tell her neighbors the truth about the obnoxious draft. That's good, Alec. But you can't go round to every household in London town. No, it doesn't always do shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out as fish wipes for vanities at Billingsgate. Or oh, firm in Smithfield. But if we can eradicate a source that continually feeds such detrimental trash, then little by little the truth will take the upper hand and the sham will be flushed out. That's why we're here. We will have to get in if we're being detected now. I shall stand them while you get inside. I shall destroy not one, but we pass the transmitter. He'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet without a penny.
I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. Oh, golly gosh! It was... oh, a tad fiddly, that one. But I've pulled it as well as a dentist pulls a rotten tooth. There. Move faster if you can. My dears, Jacob, Evie, thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. No need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. And besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do drop by. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> 